Hi, I'm Chas with Chas's Crazy Creations, and today we're going to make a trivet. And this project can be done by kids, it can be done by adults, and it's easily adaptable for whatever your needs are. So let's go ahead and get started. Thank you for being here. As we pan the camera down to the table, you'll see I have two pieces of felt. These are just from Walmart. You can get them at craft stores as well and they run like about 50 cents per square and you're going to need two of them. So you're going to start with those and then what you're going to need in addition to this is either newspaper or an old phone book or something like that. So we're just going to take several layers of this phone book and pull it on out. And you can make it as thick or as thin as you want. But you need to think about the table you're setting it on because this is basically what is protecting your table from the hot pads. So just go ahead and use as much as you want. Besides, you may be ready to throw this away anyways, right? But you're also recycling. All right, so what you're gonna do now is you're going to set that paper inside here. Now again, you can get something bigger or smaller for whatever your need is. And then you're gonna stack the other one on top just like that. Now if you're a sewer, you're gonna go ahead and go in and stitch these two things together. But if you're not, or you've got kids who are not, it's no problem. You're just gonna get your good old hot glue gun. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna run your hot glue along inside here to hold your edges. And then you're gonna press that together to hold it in place. Then you're gonna run along this side until you go all the way around. I'm running out of hot glue, so I need a little bit more. And I got one more side to go here. And the great thing is, this is adaptable for any holiday, so if you wanted to make these as gifts for the holiday season, you're welcome to do that. Now, as that is sealed, you'll check and make sure you don't have any holes, but if you do, it's no problem. You'll just go back and fix them. Then you'll find some fabric to decorate the top with. And I'm just gonna use this pumpkin fabric here. I started cutting it out with a pinking shears, which is this zigzag kind of scissors. And I need one side left to trim just to get it all trimmed up. So we're gonna trim off a little side here so you can see what that's like. But it's pretty simple and these, sh these scissors a lot of times can help stop fraying. Just like that. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put that on top like this. You're welcome to iron it if you want. And then you're going to glue it into place. Now I can see that I did not get that top very crooked. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that up right now. This is the trouble I ran into last time, wasn't it? The very end. Let's see if I did any better. There, that's better. Great, so now I've got that all set up. Now if I wanted to trim the sides up more, I could. These little pieces of fabric though are sold at Walmart in a quarter flat for 97 cents. So again, you can spend very little on that felt and then very little on the top piece here as well. So then what you're gonna do with that is you're just gonna go ahead and repeat the same thing. You're just gonna glue that piece into place. All the way around. And if you're a sewer, you'll just, you could sew this whole thing at one time if you'd like. So you don't have to go back. And you would just stitch it right on top of there. And then the last side. Now if you wanted to fancy that up even more, you can add rickrack to it or whatever you like, but I'm just gonna go ahead and trim this last little edge up. And 
Gives that nice little edge, a little bit fancier edge to it. And there you go. Pretty simple, right? So that's just a little trivet, easy to make for the holidays. Now it's ready for your Thanksgiving table or your Halloween table. Or again, adjust the fabric to any needs or make it more generic, as I have here. This is another one that I made, and this one was with some gray felt and a different pattern, and now this one is good to match my house all year round. So if you like this, please share this with someone else who be interested in making this, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope you have a wonderful day.